Hello friends, myself Professor P. N. Patil. Today's lecture in our trigonology subject, we have to see the Reynolds equations, which is required for your hydrodynamic division analysis. Okay. Maybe this solution of this Reynolds equation can be used to determine the pressure distribution in the bearing with an arbitrarily thin sheet. Okay, so first of all, we have to see this journal and journal bearing. So first of all, we have to make the some assumptions to analyze this Reynolds equations. Okay, so in this first assumption is the fluid is considered to be a Newtonian. Second is the fluid flow is considered to be a viscous and laminar. Third one is the fluid is incompressible. <coughs> Fourth is inertia forces due to the acceleration of fluid and body are small compared with the pressure and viscosity. The pressure varies in across the thin film is small or negligible. Pressure variation across the film is always negligible. The curvature effect is neglected and there is no slip of the bearing. Okay, and the last one is important: the viscosity of of the oil is remains constant as it flows through the bearings. Okay, there are two methods by direct methods and by nadir stroke methods. Okay, so in this figure we are seeing here Reynolds equation for two dimension flow by direct method. In this, we have to consider a journal which is rotating in this bearing with a constant surface velocity. EUV. Okay, for analysis, a fluid element, a small fluid element, is considered <coughs> having dimension dx dy and dz in three-dimensional as x y z respectively. Okay, so here x axis represents the direction of motion of the fluids. Okay, the y axis is parallel to the general axis. And z axis is the radial direction of this journal. Okay, so various forces acting on this fluid elements are first one is the fluid pressure P dz P dy. Okay, in positive direction, why the fluid pressure force in opposite direction P plus del of P del x into dx divide this this direction in negative directions so shear force of the bottom surface tau x dx dy while the shear force on the top surface is tau x plus delta of tau x by dz into del x dy direction okay so considering this fluid element x y z okay so here we are preparing the analysis in this small element of this fluid element. So here dx divided dz is always not equal to zero, which is the value of the fluid element. And according to the Newton's law of viscosity, tau x, the shear stress, is always equal to the product of this coefficient of friction into rate of shear. Okay, putting this value in. Above equations, we have to solve this pressure gradient, gradient del v by dx, del x. Okay. Similarly, we take this pressure gradient in x directions. <coughs> so, by integrating above this uh, pressure gradient, okay. So, after integrating, we have to apply this boundary conditions. Okay. At z is equal to zero. The velocities must be zero, where the z or the h film thickness there is some velocity u b. Okay, putting all this above in our equations. Okay, when z is equal to h, u is equal to u b, equation becomes u b is equal to one upon two mu del b by del x into h square plus a into h plus zero. Okay, so after analyzing 
we are getting this a is equal to q h by h minus h by 2 mu into delta by del x. So, putting the values of a and b in equation for first equation as u, we are getting just two terms. Okay, in this first term, this 1 by 2 mu del, del b by del x into under bracket z square minus z, this term is called as Poisson's flow terms, and other term u b into z by h is called as Cauchy flow terms. So, equation u is equal to 1 by 2 mu del b by del x z square minus h z plus u b into z by h gives the velocity distribution of this fluid regard. Okay. So, this is the first part. We are here, we are showing this velocity distributions. Now, we have to find this rate of flow of the fluid. So, that is rate of flow of fluid. So, it is given in this direction for unit width. Qx is equal to integration of 0 to h u into <coughs> 1 into del z. Okay. So, therefore, Qx, after putting the conditions, limits, and solving it, <coughs> we are getting this Qx is equal to h q upon 12 mu upon del u by del x plus u b upon 2 into h. So, this is the fluid flow rate. Okay. This is the fluid flow rate in the direction of x. Okay. Similarly, q i minus h cube upon 2 mu into del, del p by dy plus mu d by 2 into h. This is the fluid flow rate. <coughs> In my directions. Now consider our continued equations from our fluid mechanics del by del x plus del by del y plus del w by del z is equal to 0. Here del w by del z is always 0. There is no flow in z directions and therefore only two terms remains del by del x plus del v by del y. So integrating upon equation with respect to z. Okay. So, after integration and solving, we are getting this Qx is equal to this Qh and Qi. We have to integrate it and put in and we are rearranging the terms. We are getting finally this del by del x into the underweight of hq into del b by del x plus del by del y underweight hq plus del b by del y is equal to 6 mu 6 mu underweight del by del x into u b into h plus del by del y to u b into h. Okay. So, Again, simplifying this equation, this is nothing but this are also we can call as equation number seven is Reynolds equation for this two dimensional flow. Okay, again, simplifying this by consideration the infinitely long varying as per assumption there is no flow in y direction, therefore, del b by del y is always zero. Therefore, we remains del by del x into h cube del p by del x plus 0 is equal to 6 mu into u b del x by del x. So, finally, we are getting del by del x into h cube del p by del x is equal to 6 mu u b del x by del x is always equal to 6 mu u b del x by del x and which is a required Reynolds equations for one dimensional flow. So, this is the Reynolds equations analysis by direct methods. Okay. So, second method we have to see in next lectures. Okay. Thank you.